If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-4602. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your evening update. Plenty of sunshine across the area on this Monday, but some clouds have moved back into the area this afternoon. No precipitation, though. Temperatures have been on up into the 50s with the sunshine today. We hit 55 here at the studio in Lawrenceburg, but some spots in northwest Alabama briefly got into the lower 60s. Started out in the mid-30s this morning. No rainfall today, and we're going to hold that in the local area for much of the week. But another big rainmaker coming just in time for the weekend beginning on Saturday. Here's your future cast breakdown this evening, dropping out of the 50s into the 40s and the upper 30s after a sunset with a drier air mass in place and a mix of sun and clouds. Getting down to the mid 30s for most of us toward daybreak because we do start to get more of a westerly component to the wind. And it'll be gusty out of the southwest through our Tuesday, anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour. And with some sunshine involved with the clouds, Mid to upper 50s look like a good bet for daytime highs, falling back into the 40s as we enter the evening. Now, Futurecast here is trying to spread out, spit out a light sprinkle or two across Middle Tennessee going into Tuesday evening, but I think any shower activity is going to be off to the north and east of our area, enter the Cumberland Plateau. However, don't completely discount that just in case there is a sprinkle dropping toward the freezing mark by daybreak on Wednesday as well, and then only getting into the mid to upper 40s for daytime highs for most of us on Wednesday, despite partly cloudy skies. High pressure shifting to the east Thursday gives us more of a southerly flow here. That means warming temperatures 50s for our Thursday and then 60s for Friday and Saturday. And then we'll also be watching that next storm system off to the west on Friday coming into our area Saturday with showers and thunderstorms likely. Here's the temperature breaking down the next seven days, mid to upper 50s for our Tuesday, upper 40s for Wednesday, but that's a brief shot of colder air. We're back into the mid to upper 50s Thursday, 60s Friday into Saturday, and those daytime highs Saturday may trend up a few more degrees depending on what that storm system does. So we may be watching that system Saturday into Saturday evening for possibly some stronger thunderstorms. I'm not ready to highlight a severe weather threat yet, but we'll be watching that in the coming days just in case we're kind of teetering there on the edge of possibly having enough instability to be concerned about that, but not ready to highlight that just yet. Behind that system, cooler behind the cold front, upper 40s Sunday into early next week. So your forecast for tonight looks like this, dropping out of the 50s into the 40s this evening, mid-30s or so overnight toward daybreak with partly cloudy skies as we begin our Tuesday and then your hometown forecast for Tuesday, partly cloudy to mostly sunny. Daytime highs in the mid to upper 50s. A few folks back toward Hardin County, maybe near 60 degrees. A breezy southwest wind of 10 to 20 miles per hour. Northwest Alabama, northeast Mississippi, upper 50s, maybe near lower 60s here. With a breezy southwest wind of 10 to 20 miles per hour. And partly cloudy and mostly sunny here as well. Seven-day forecast looks like this. Dry on the way through Thursday and even Friday as well. Partly cloudy there as that dry cold front comes in Tuesday and Wednesday. Cooler on Wednesday, daytime highs in the upper 40s. Warming for Thursday, especially Friday and Saturday, back into the 60s here to end the week. Dry through Friday. Saturday we're watching for showers and thunderstorms to be likely. The exact timing, whether it's daytime or the afternoon and evening, that's a little questionable right now. Some of the model data holds it until Saturday night. So there are some timing uncertainties, but showers and thunderstorms likely. Maybe another one to two inches of rainfall. Clearing behind that into early next week, also turning colder with daytime highs back into the upper 40s. There's the latest seven-day forecast. I'll be back at 9 o'clock with another check of your local weather.